Hi, I'm at ASH 2019, talking about germline RUNX1 mutations. There's a very interesting syndrome with families that carry germline mutations in the RUNX1 gene. Uh, this predisposes them to uh, the development of acute myeloid leukemia or MDS, myeloid malignancies. And unfortunately, these are very uh, difficult to treat uh, conditions when patients develop that disease. There's a lot of interest in studying how to prevent progression from an early stage uh, situation where the mutation is present but disease hasn't happened yet, uh, and to try to understand what are the drivers of progression in this disease. It's really important because, as I said, it's difficult to treat this disease, but if we could figure out how to prevent the progression, that would be a big impact for these individuals and their families. Uh, the RUNX1 Research Foundation has recently invested a huge amount of energy and support into this field, uh, bringing together a number of investigators to start developing animal models, cell line models, and other approaches to understand how to address this particular problem. And I think these germline RUNX1 mutations can act in multiple different ways from a biology point of view. Part of it relates to differentiation, other aspects of it may relate to how they drive cell proliferation. Uh, there are always cooperating mutations that, um, that co-occur to give rise to the leukemia and it would be important to understand whether there are any patterns that can be found in individuals with this germline condition that might then help us uh, learn why they progress and how to potentially treat it. Uh, ultimately, uh, the goal would be to come up with preventive strategies, whether they be uh, potentially transplantation-based or uh, therapeutics-based with the idea of uh, helping these individuals.